So for a while now, I have been wanting to create a new larger enclosure for my hamster. This is going to be for Bumble and I have created a new DIY hamster enclosure. Keep in mind, this is not a tutorial because I suck at tutorials, but if you want to follow along, go for it. To start, my dad did help me build the base of the cage, so we're starting off by drilling the four wheels onto the base of the enclosure. Next, we're attaching the back onto the base, and I'm going to give you five seconds to realize what we did wrong. That is correct. We nailed the back onto the base, but the base is upside down, so the wheels are on the wrong side. So we had to rip that off and redo it. Next, we're just cutting that one sheet in half so that we have our sides, and then we've attached on our sides. This clip here I'm showing there is plexiglass in there. I actually originally bought that, but this plexiglass was so flimsy I think I could sneeze and it would blow over, so we decided to go with the glass method. Then I'm just going to place the glass in the enclosure and I'm taping it so that it'll hold while I'm going to be siliconing all around it to secure it to the enclosure. Next, we are building our lid, and this method is a perfect way to make detoff lids as well, for anybody wondering. This is the same method I use for that. You just need to use your own measurements. So for this enclosure, I am making two lids with the measurements of 21 inches by 24.5 inches. Then I am just going to take some Elmer's glue, and I'm going to glue all of these sides and then clamp it down. Elmer's glue is a wonderful wood glue, and when you're sticking two pieces of wood together, it will hold so good. Then of course I just repeated that with the second lid, and this is what they both look like. While the glue was semi-dry, I just took some white acrylic paint and I started to paint the lids because I want them to match the enclosure. Then we're going to take our hardware mesh and our tin snips and we're going to measure out our wire and then start snipping away. I hate cutting mesh. This is my least favorite part. It hurts my hands. I don't like the feeling of mesh. It's, it's not fun. Then I'm just stapling, stapling, stapling the mesh to the wood and I repeat that with the other lid and this is going to keep it nice and secure to our frame. Then I'm measuring out where I want my handles to be because I'm going to have to drill a hole all the way through on each side so that I can attach the handles on. And then voila, you have two semi-decent looking lids. Then I am attaching my melamine tape to the bottom there so that it doesn't look ugly. And I'm ironing it on, which you're supposed to do. And this looks so dangerous, but don't worry, I did not burn myself, thankfully. And now is for the fun part, and that is where we set up the enclosure. So I am just placing in some old bedding that I had left over there and then as well as I'm putting half a bag of aspen in there because I had it. So it also gives your hamster another texture to walk on.
And then I am going to be layering my paper-based bedding in there. So first is a layer of paper-based bedding, and then I'm taking some orchard grass hay and I'm sprinkling that all along that layer. This helps with burrowing stability. It keeps burrows really nice and stable. So I'm just making a layer of that until I run out of bedding. Unfortunately, I did not buy enough bedding to really be satisfied with the amount. I'm going to eventually add in more bedding to here, but it still is a good amount for now, but it's just, I'm not completely happy with it. Then of course I took some of Bumble's old bedding and I put it in a bag and then I'm just adding that so it still smells like her and it's not too stressful. Then I'm just adding in Bumble's Hide, which is the IKEA Nuff magazine holder, as well as her 11 inch wooden wheel and the rest of her accessories. I also forgot that I needed to add in a sand bath, so I'm just moving that bedding out of the way and adding that in. Then I'm just adding in some pillow moss. This is safe for hamsters. It gives them another texture and it makes the cage look nice. As well as the sand that I'm using is reptile sand with no added calcium or dyes. And then we're adding, of course, our flax, wheat, and oat sprays for foraging. And our terracotta saucer for the food dish and the water dish. And I just put a little bit of food in there and I sprinkled the rest in the cage, as well as I'm sprinkling some herbs in there too. And then it is time to put in Bumble, which you guys can watch this Wednesday. <laughs> 